no traveler can resist visiting Paris, whether for its fashion week or simply to wander through the city's glittering streets. Although Eiffel Tower is the first one that comes to mind, there are many other beautiful places you can explore in Paris to make your trip an unforgettable experience. So here we go. Number 1. Notre Dame Cathedral. The Roman Catholic Church Notre Dame de Paris is located on the eastern part of the Ile de la Cité, and is one of the most lasting emblems of Paris. It is widely regarded as one of France's and Europe's greatest examples of French Gothic architecture. With its entrances surrounded by his numerous sculptures and gargoyles that grace the ceiling is a marvel to behold. Take a tour of the cathedral before entering and climbing the 387 steps to the summit of the towers. The journey to the top of the towers is strenuous, but it rewards you with a panoramic view of the region and close-up views of the iconic gargoyles. Number 2. Louvre Museum. The Louvre is the world's most visited art museum. This ancient edifice and a former royal palace is located in the center of Paris and has a total area of 210,000 square meters, including 60,600 square meters for exhibitions. The museum is situated in the Louvre, which was once a fortification erected by Philip II in the late 12th century. The remnants of the stronghold may be seen in the museum's basement. Number 3. Champs-Élysées or Arc of Triumph. Napoleon commissioned Jean Chalgrin to construct the triumphal arch devoted to the glories of imperial soldiers, under the spell of ancient Roman architecture. It is the world's biggest monument of its sort, having been built in the 19th century. Its pillars are adorned with stunning sculptures. The names of 558 generals, as well as major triumphs, are inscribed on the Arc's summit. The tomb of the unknown soldier of France is located beneath the Arc de Triomphe. A wonderful view of Paris may be had from the panoramic terrace over the entrance. Number 4. Cruise on the Seine. Discover the greatest way to see the City of Light by taking a Seine boat, especially at night. The monuments are gradually illuminated as the sun sets. You receive a front row seat to the magnificence of Paris, including the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, Pont Alexander III, and many more. A dinner cruise on the Seine aboard a boat is also an option. Number 5. Montmartre. It is a 130-meter high hill in Paris's northwestern outskirts that gives its name to the neighboring district. The white-domed Basilica of the Sacred Heart, located at the summit, is its most famous feature. It was finished in 1919 and is dedicated to the French victims of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870. Also stop by the Tertry Square, which is just a few blocks away from the Basilica. Many painters have set up their easels to paint visitors or to display their work. The Place du Tertre is a reminder of the early 20th century period when Montmartre was the epicenter of contemporary art. A few feet from the square of Tertre lies the Espace Salvador Dal, a museum dedicated mostly to the Spanish painter's sculpture and drawings. Montmartre is home to the world-famous Cabaret Moulin Rouge. Number 6. Palace of Versailles. The Château de Versailles is France's most well-known palace built in the 17th century. Versailles was the center of political authority in the Kingdom of France from 1682 until 1789. It was built in the 17th century as a symbol of French military prowess and a show of French supremacy in Europe. This massive complex of buildings, gardens, and terraces is a must-see for every tourist who will be enchanted by the luxurious lodgings, opulent furnishings, furniture, and gilded Renaissance pieces of art. Number 7. The Latin Quarter Luxembourg Park. The Latin Quarter of Paris is located on the left side of the Seine around the Sorbonne. The Latin Quarter is home to various higher education institutions, including the École Normale Supérieure, the École de Mines de Paris, and the École Polytechnique. It is known for its student life, vibrant ambience, and bistros. The Latin language, which was previously widely used at and around the university since Latin was the international language of study, in the Middle Ages, inspired the area's name. 
The Luxembourg Park is a public garden that was established in 1612 at Marie de Medici's request to complement the Luxembourg Palace. It is lovingly referred to as the Lucco by Parisians. There are 106 statues, including a bronze replica of the Statue of Liberty, as well as three lovely fountains. Hope you liked the video. See you soon!